I can't believe this show gave us a tournament arc within the span of one episode two. Honestly, it doesn't have to be too drawn out. As long as I get a tournament arc and we show a, a display of power, the difference between us and everyone else. Technically, we couldn't even do that because everyone just gave up and forfeited. Even Patrick was scared. When we went up to the front and we're about to use our magic, Patrick was hiding as if this is like some kind of like, you know, those like you go to some kind of like Disney World or Sea Land or some shit, and there's like a what, like a like a whales fucking you know dolphin splashing and shit. And you don't want to sit at the front because the water's gonna splash. Patrick was like sitting at the back, afraid that the dark magic's gonna splash and kill him. It's all right, we're not gonna kill any of them. I think that we might have done more harm than good. People are still too scared, but I feel like the romance between Patrick and you know Emilia maybe is going somewhere. I don't really know. Also, by the way, whatever happened to that Eleonore girl? Hello. Let's begin today's reaction. Are the princes staring at us? Or even more loners. But we have Paturiku. Where is Eleonore? <laughs> the conquerable characters. <laughs> the prince. Oh, brother! This guy stinks! I hate this guy! Last episode too! Oh, dude! He just self-inserts himself every fucking time. But at the very least, we have Patrick to save us. But boo! Boo, L, second prince! Boo! Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, where's the proof, huh? Where's the proof, bitch? Who could have done this? Maybe Eleonore. Eleonore hasn't shown up in a long time. Isn't that the perfect time? With some kind of plot twist? Yeah, Eleonore is literally like... Wants, you know, Edwin so much. So this is the perfect moment for her to like come back into the show while dunking on Alicia. If she dunks... Yo, I'm down for bullying. Okay, bullying is bad. Usually, right? Bullying bad? I think that's not a hot take. But like... Sometimes I think we do need to bully so Alicia fucker. That's right, don't forget guys. This little sweet innocent girl's a racist man. Crime or bitch. Five PM Sunset Lighting. Perfect time for a confession or some dramatic thing to happen. What you doing, you rat? Wait, she's not even here. You <laughs> <laughs> That that was some Sid Kagano shit. That was some shit. <laughs> Why were you up? How? It's fucking dark magic. I don't know how it works. That's Jesus. <laughs> nice landing. Not terrified us, girl. Kill. <laughs> Give her a Yumila punch. Demon Lord. Doing it for Miss Eleonora, exactly. Cause she's got ties with Edwin. She's back! Oh! So maybe she didn't order, but like, her loyal fans are doing this for Eleonora, even though she didn't want it to happen? Okay. It's not gonna look good for you. Yeah. <gasps> Nani! Are we friends? I don't know. No, the ship is continuing, man. I bet Edwin would leave. <laughs> Cope, cope, cope. Did she? Oh. So then you get the status to be allowed to marry into the royal family. Because we're taking the blame. Cap. Cap. Liar. <laughs> she took it all so seriously. <laughs> and you have terrible judgment. Let me tell you that, Eleonore. She is... She's, she should be a character that I should hate, you know? She's like... Like the villainous... She's trying to like... I, I, I don't know. Y usually, like, you would hate on the villainous. But in these, like, ultimate games, you somehow start to, like, feel sorry and, like, wants to, like, want to root for the villainous. She's stupid? She's, uh... She's not stupid! She's just a little slow! A little innocent! I don't know. I like her. Just based on what we've seen so far, I like her. She, she is a little bit too easy, though. The chibi moments are nice. But then Eleonora takes the L, you know? Mm. In the game. Then you would have been the bully. The natural course of the game. Hey, is that my desk? You! Explain yourself! 
Oh, oh, there was nobody on my side. And we got casted out. Damn, Eleonora. You, you're pretty mean in the game. And then you turn to the demon lord. Yo, I want you to turn fucking dark. Turn to your dark side. I kind of want you Mila to just like fall to the dark side, man. Just pop off. But I don't think it's that kind of show. Really? Usually in games, you know, RBG elements, you know, there's like a rock, paper, scissors, scissors system. But then between like light and dark, they're both effective against each other, you know? But I guess in this show, it's just one-way street. Damn, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, hypothetically, Patrick is shaking. Oh, she... The fucking Riz. Dude, he cares so much about her. He cares so much about it. He's even feeling sorry, right? Oh my god, we're about to have a ridiculous moment. The, the Riz, oh. Patrick, we got you now, right? Then I what? I what? I'll be by your side. Acquaintance? Were we just acquaintance? Are we a little bit more than that? No? Damn, we actually got acquaintance zoned, yes. <laughs> Conversation partner. Not even friends? Not even friends yet! She doesn't even- I can't even imagine getting a romantic partner. Umelia doesn't even see Patrick as a friend. Let alone a romantic partner. Just a acquaintance. Conversation partner. But like, Patrick I think is slowly falling, right? I think he definitely is. <laughs> Damn, Patrick's like, shit. Did I just get acquaintance out? It is what it is. We take the L and move forward. Oh? Hello? She's following us? Oh, yeah. Oh, more chibi moments. Wow, we can join your tea party? 3D is never a real special exception? Oh, she's actually just following us. Well, it's because, like, we played defense for her. We looked out for her, so she probably likes us now, and she wants to be a friend, huh? Right, she's on the opposite faction. Anti-king. Honestly? She reminds me of, uh... What was that girl in Tomochan as a girl? The blonde girl. What was her name? Not Charlotte. Who was she? Do you guys remember? Carol, that's right, Carol. And you know how Carol was always sticking around the uh, uh, Misuzu? You remember Misuzu? And you know Carol was always sticking around, just like the blonde girl, just, <laughs> just following around. Yeah. <laughs> Extrovert friend for the introvert, you know? <laughs> oh, come on. <gasps> Level 99 craftiness. Level 99 snacks. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I mean, she's a little dumb, but it's okay. Hey, we're holding hands. This is a good cliche. Like, a uh, extrovert friend chasing after introvert. <laughs> Are you feeding us? <laughs> okay. Wow, amazing. This is great. Damn! Please never make it again. <laughs> never make it again. Oh my god, she's committing! Oh! Yeah. I'll try better next time. This girl is super patient or super dumb? I don't know. I, I don't know. I like her though. Hey. Well, yeah, because your friends are just simping for you, telling you lies. Ah, because she only has a bunch of yes women around. Now we finally have someone that's willing to speak the truth. So this is what piques her interest even more. We should have been a yes woman. No, come on, friends, friends. Jesus, go buy some instead. It's working in Eleonora's favor, though. We're best friends. We understand her the most. Yeah, because they just want to simp for you to get on your good side. Mm -hmm. Basically a cult. Yeah, she's kind of gullible. Maybe stupidly gullible. Already? 
That's a conspiracy theory. She's so dumb that she's already being manipulated by someone. Who could that someone be? Uh, of all the people that's sus in this place, uh, Principal? The principal's kind of sus, but other than that, I don't really know. Who would want to take out Alicia? I don't know. They said, who is they? A group of people? Mm. No, I like conspiracies though. No, she's a good girl. She's an actually really good girl. Oh, it's just basically they, like our friends were, her supposed friends were like gaslighting her to do it. Okay, okay. I thought there was like an unknown entity, like Puppet Master. No. <laughs> We'll give you advice on how to level up. Oh, more hand holding. That was a lie. That was an absolute lie. <laughs> you just gotta go with it, man. CGI. Uh, oh, she came to visit our place all the way here? The maid is here, too. Yeah, she's got that political clout. We can't just reject her. She got the fancy tea. Bitch, you tell me you've been serving cheap tea to me the entire time? You just fucking... You ever have like... Okay, I, I think this is most prominent in Asian parents. It's like... You have like a regular set of silverware and plates that you eat every day. But like, when like... Special guests come over, like friends, other people that your parents want to flex to. They like get the most fanciest silverware that's been stored away in a separate fucking store. It's like, when the fuck do we have this? What? All right. The good tablecloth. Yeah. She wants to be your friend, man. Yeah, she's a good person. Uh, uh, I want to talk. Come on, let's be friends. A little bit more. Party? Is there a dance? Like prom? Dates? Oh, I cut. Okay, bye. Ah, oh, fancy dancing. Ooh. You merely in a dress though. Would be nice. <laughs> of the conquerable characters, Edwin's got the highest rating. Yes. Do we want that? Oh, hello, when did you... Usually when we're monologuing in chibi mode, it's like our own domain. You meal us somehow interrupted into our domain. Hello. Give some fancy dresses, right? Yeah, give me a fancy dress. Maybe Yuri partner. No, how about you? Because you only hang out with Patrick. That's your dance? That's it. That's the third dance. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, come on. Nah, Eleonore will give us a dress, a really fancy one. Then we're gonna go dance with Patrick, and we won't be acquaintances anymore. We will be a dance partner. Not really friends, but we're making some steps. Yeah, rich girl giving poor girl dress. You know this nice cliche. Our room. I love how pushy she is, though. It's not like you, what do you mean? So girly? Do you know even if she doesn't make up, she's gonna look identical? Alright. No, Eleonora does though, right? They're probably dumb boring ones, man. I don't know. It just doesn't... I don't know. It just looks too childish. Yeah, it's children's dresses. It's like, eh. Lady of the house? We've never met her mom? Interesting plot points. You wear it then. Oh, we got a gift? Who is this gift from? Oh, 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 oh. That's Patrick. That's your meal with a nice little dress. She wants it subconsciously. She kind of wants it, right? That's why she's feeling bad. What is this? The queen gave us a dress? Sweets or dress? What is it? Yo, queen, what'd you hook us up with? CGI. Uh, is there any repeated characters here? Uh, oh, purple dude! Purple dude, you're here? 
You're here and you're here. Shameless. You have the same fucking purple and red jacket blazer thing. Uh-uh. And there is... And who else? Girl? This girl over here, maybe? Two of these? Oh, no, no, no. You will never get past me. Oh, what are we wearing? You, Mila, walking side by side with Eleonora. Boring. Damn. You, Mila, got the little rose, too? Because you're, like, hanging out with them all the time. Patrick! <gasps> Doki! That's a nice touch. The, the little glove right here, that, that's a nice touch, dude. Rizzed! He is completely in, right? He is totally in. <laughs> this girl's actually smart. She picked up on the social cue. Now, she might not be, like, book smart, but I guess she kind of understands these social cues. Maybe? I don't really know, but at least she got out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but Chibi, Yumile, all dressed up with makeup on is even funnier, right? <laughs> Look at her with the little lipstick. I don't know. No, we gotta dance. Because she's never been girly before, right? She's only just been gaming. No, he's so in. He is so head over heels for her. Yeah, you! You've been looking for you! Oh? They're fucking. They're hooking up somewhere! Oh, Alicia and Edwin? I don't care. It's gonna be your grandma? It's, it's gonna be your grandma and the stars you used to see? Your fucking racist clansman grandma? No? No? L. L. Don't care about this. No, the dance! Oh, damn, he grabbed her. Wait, there was a connection there. Oh, what, what the? What the? Just one song. Okay. Oh. He's falling! My pleasure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, it's on brand for you. Yeah, see, it's like you. See how insecure she is a little bit, though? That she's not, like, ladylike. No. No, 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 no. I want you guys to pay attention here, okay? Look at this, okay? First of all, there's this purple guy here. This same purple dude is on the balcony right now with the red shirt. Now look a little bit more, okay? Where is it? Purple guy here again! Where? I don't fucking know. He's everywhere. Oh, no, no. And then, and then look at this. The most, the most, uh, the, the criminal offense is not the repeat of the balcony and this purple guy here. But look, right beside the frame. You're behind him! Oh! You, what, you got your triplet? You got one in the fucking balcony, one dancing, one sitting behind? At least fucking try to make him a little different. All you have to do is fucking, you know, copy and paste the fucking different hair colors, but come on. The shamelessness. Oh? You mean like, come on, just chill. Yeah, step on my toes. Yes, crush my toes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the body's moving. Don't trip, though. It would be a cliche to, like, step, though, and trip, huh? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hmm? You fallen? No more acquaintances? Oh, everyone's looking. Everyone's looking. Spotlight's on her. Blood of my enemies. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Damn! Put <laughs> Damn, this guy's too fucking good, dude. This guy's too good. The palms are getting sweaty. Oh, it's not very ladylike. It's not an empty compliment. Everybody's still looking at Patrick and Yumila, dude. That I am in love with you, but interruption! Fuck you! Oh. Okay, it's the sweat. It, it's 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 the sweaty. Like if you're a girl and you're like dancing, you're holding hands, and you get sweaty hands, you know, and the, it's, it, you're gonna feel like fuck. I gotta wipe my hands off, you know. It's gonna be not ladylike, but damn it, it was so close. It was so close to the fucking confession, but no, nothing. 
oh, that actually looks so bad. Because, like, the timing of that was literally, oh, I might have been dense. I'm just realizing that I have feelings or I love, and then you immediately fucking backed off and just wiped her hands. So, like, it looks so bad. So fucking bad. We pretty much just, like, rejected him before he could even say anything. <laughs> Lucky Patrick's aware his crush is autistic? Ain't no way. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, another dance? Oh god, who are you? Who the fuck are you? Get out of my face! No! Patrick, no! No! Okay, no, 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 it's, it's good, it's good. Damn. Dude, look at Patrick here. Dude, this hurts me. Look at his face. Look how destroyed he looks right now. But no, 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 no. Yumila's gonna fuck him. Yumila punch this guy right here. Let's go. Shut down line. Let's go. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of a lie because Patrick's not stronger than Yumila, but oh damn. Yeah. Well, maybe this will motivate him to get stronger and level up. The hidden boss attempts dancing and completely crushes Patrick's confidence. And that's another episode with more focus on the romance between Yumila and Patrick. Now, Eleonora actually came back and I guess we're gonna slowly get her back into the plot. I don't really know what her role is, right? Because she's got the political clout because she's like part of the Hillcrest family, main daughter of like the, you know, the opposing faction of the anti-king faction. She's got that clout, you know, a lot of people like worship her and she's supposed to be going with Edwin, but Alicia's there. So like, I think she deserves better than Edwin. So are we gonna like help her figure that out? I'm not really sure, but she's a great addition to the story. And I love how like the extrovert pushing and pushing and chasing after the introvert. I do enjoy this cliche. As long as it's not like completely, like like if Yumila was actually getting upset about it, then it'd be kind of weird. But you know, a common, common trope is like, you know, extrovert, like chasing after the introvert that doesn't really know, but maybe kind of wants to hang out and be friends. You know, it's, it's really nice like that. And the dancing with Patrick, you know, this is, this is cute, right? Cause like, this girl is a complete gamer. Just sweaty gamer. Yes, her hands are sweaty, but she doesn't give a fuck about anything that's girly, like dressing up, makeup, beauty products, like stuff like that. She's just been grinding. So for the first time, she's able to, you know, touch into her feminine side and she's feeling very insecure. But Patrick's like rizzing her up and like making her feel nice. And this is really nice, you know? I really enjoy this like romance here all of a sudden. The power fantasy, I do love, right? So it's gonna be like one episode, romance. Another episode, power fantasy, right? I, I, I love the mix up. And honestly, this is episode seven. And like in terms of the story progression, we haven't gotten anywhere. And I'm not really complaining. I do enjoy this slow pace. I feel like even though the story progression is slow in terms of pacing, each episode doesn't feel like it's dragging on. You know what I mean? So hopefully there's like more episodes in the future. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.